Somebody else is brake dragging here. I hear it. Nice. That's good. Wait, I should pay attention here. We are getting ready. Oh. <laughs> Not that. Could have been more aggressive there, but I kind of did not want to. No, I don't know Snatterton. I think I don't even own the track. This paint looks pretty cool. I gotta say. Was paying attention, the guy behind, of course not. Let's hope the car is still okay. Like, I mean, of course, you don't expect if you're behind that the guy ahead breaks there, but. Well, <laughs> it's tough out there, you know. I mean, it's enough top speed to pass the Porsche here, but I think we definitely lost some top speed. But let's see how much. Oh, look at the gains here! Insane! Anyways, a uh, car feels okay. It's straight. Um... I don't know if we lost top speed, probably lost a little bit of top speed, but not that much. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, 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 ay. It's an RSR. Good thing is this is IMSA, so a lot can happen. So it's not over or anything. We're definitely down a little bit on, 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 on uh, speed, but it's fine. 
But we have to check the replay and then insult the guy behind who didn't break, right? Maybe it was just like... Sometimes you cannot react as quickly, you know? If you don't see the spinning cars ahead. And it's probably like, you know, when you're playing iRacing, you don't expect people to slow down only because there's a wreck ahead. <coughs> Ridiculous thinking, I know. We're just one position down from our starting position. So. Yuri! Kill them! Seven. That's four tenth of my quality pace with a little bit of draft. So the car is not like unusable or something, you know. GG <laughs> sport penalties. Then I would have gotten a penalty for that. Probably. Draft two, right? Ah, uh, I don't know, Foscott. I haven't tested it to be honest. Oh, he was waiting. I left a little gap. Oh, two of them. That was actually not too cost costly. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. That was uh, expected. No slowdown? No slowdown? I mean, he should not get a penalty for this, don't get me wrong, but... You should get a penalty for this, though. My bad, Vicento, sorry. <clears throat> Guy behind, so okay. Welcome to 4.7k. The higher the average skill level, the shittier the driving gets. Unfortunately, it's true. Man, that guy behind her. Like, I mean, the BMW is ugly, but with that paint, it's really, really ugly. What is that team? Marla. K? 8k driver <coughs> what's this that like drives like 
Oh, Lando Norris in Paris, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, shit happens. That's a five second penalty. It's just like, you know, that move makes no sense. Just wait for the straight. The thing is, we're probably gonna collect the drive through here. We are on 12x, like eight laps into the race. But whatever, we're not giving up. It's still IMSA, and if everybody drives like this, we can, we will probably get freebies, you know. Um, never give up. Can my car completely, uh, can my car completely destroy? If you want to go by, just go, there's no issue. Uh, this is SDK Gaming, exclamation yeah, mark yeah, overload. Yeah, my card is broken. It takes two to tango. Okay. Hey, top 10. See, they already got a freebie here. It definitely gets worse in higher splits, yeah. Like the bottom is really bad and the top splits are really bad. Like in between it's usually fine, I think. I mean, right. just look at this driving here. I don't think I have to say too much about it. At least the drive through here is relatively quick in case I should get one. <coughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not the game's fault. I think the only fault, like the only thing that iRacing is doing wrong is the protest system. It seems to be a little bit of a joke. Like, yeah, you can report people, but even, like, intentional wrecking doesn't ban you, like, permanently lo like it should. I'm sorry, They should be worried about the money of people who stop driving this because of these racing standards. Eh? Okay, I guess.
<laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people I know that just like kind of lost motivation to play iRacing because of the racing standards. I, I have to say about myself, like, I'm definitely not enjoying it as much anymore as I used to. It's like, I probably, I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably wouldn't race it anymore if I wasn't streaming. But the whole, like, you know, streaming, chatting, community, it's, it's what makes it very enjoyable for me. But the game itself, not so much anymore. Yeah, Quirk doesn't seem to enjoy it at all. You can see that when he's streaming. I think he's forcing himself to play it at the moment. And that's... I mean, you know, it's, it's his main job. So it is kind of a little... It's, you know, you have to. Uh, Davide with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. How are you? How are you? Thanks for the resub. What's the better alternative then? Uh, Battlefield 4 is pretty cool. I am good, thank you. Just got punted three times here in this race, so... It's all good. Hey Delp, oh this one is, uh, I mean it's okay. I've had better races, at least we are not like, you know, the car is still like somewhat in a decent shape. Even though we got punted three, I but uh, three times, what was it? The chicane crash when somebody went for my ass, then the sand in this corner and what was the third one? I kind of forgot. Ah, yeah, the Lando. Let's call it the Perez, because I like Lando, I don't like Perez. I mean, it's probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't think Perez is doing any better than Albon or, or Gasly. It's just the Red Bull is the OP car this year, so it looks on paper like he's better. I don't think he is. Like, if you check the gaps to Verstappen, I mean, for whatever reason, they are big. Yeah, I mean, it's the Red Bull is definitely the OP car. I don't think Verstappen is a better driver than Hamilton. You are blinking, Jesse. Yeah, but he's so, so long in F1 already. I think that argument is not valid anymore. I mean, he's young, but he's in F1 since forever. What the fuck was that?
No, I adjust it manually. I use the caps fuel calculator and then just put in the numbers manually. What is GJI and what is who's is Shane Wallace and who's Shane Gisberg? <laughs> the question is, is Russell doing himself a favor driving next to Hamilton? Ah, okay. I don't know. Russell is a good driver, but I see similarities to Bottas. Doing good in qualifying and then not so good in the race. But who knows? I mean, he's in a Williams, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It's, it's a shit car. I think Lando is a better driver than Russell, if you ask me. But we will never find out unless they are in the same car. Cannot afford another stupid 4x, I gotta be careful here. The fly! Yeah. I think like uh, science is destroying Leclerc's image a little bit. That's my opinion, what do you think? I have like 12 or 13x. Because I got punted three times. Science is really doing well in that Ferrari. I mean, some of those sense of Leclerc against who was it? Perez? I don't remember. Holy moly. The proper eye racing material. Some of these LMP2 are super, super yeah, careful. Man, I cannot... Wait, never mind, they are too. <laughs> GTEs. I'm putting in, I'm putting in, uh, I love For me, the biggest surprise oh, this cool. year is... how hard Lando is destroying uh, Ricciardo. I did not expect that at all. I knew that Lando was a good driver, but I did not expect this. No, I've never driven a GT car in real life. Oh shit, this is actually for position here. But did we come closer to the guy or did we lose the position to the guy? Hmm, so many questions. Yeah. Yeah, same. I mean, honestly, 
like Lando is probably my favorite driver in the grid right now. I even like, this is so weird, I never was a Hamilton fan, but I even started to like Hamilton more this year. Probably because I can't stand Max. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Come on guys, don't argue in chat. I don't know, I think he's a good driver, but like what he says in interviews and stuff like... Uh, I think he has to grow a little bit as a person. Then again, he drives for Red Bull, I cannot stand that team. I think how they treat their drivers is like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, that sounds probably a little bit weird, but I think he needs to learn some manners. What is going on here to the next side of me? Oh shit, that's 13x. Oh, it was a grizzle car. Ah, oh, but a GTE. Well, now we have 13x, we can just send it, like, regarding off-tracks, you know. If I knew this was a GTE, I would have just lifted. Oh, like, even in draft, look at this. Oh god, what is going on here? That was kind of misunderstanding. Oh well. Moin, quick nick. Are you? I'm definitely quicker than him, I think, but. My top speed is kind of not ideal. I don't know, it's just like interviews, you know, where he doesn't like stuff he said about his teammates that kind of, well. I think he's a good driver, though. Ooh. Yeah. I th yeah, absolutely. scared that he crashes into the guy behind. That would be 0x into 4x. But I don't think this is on me. I don't know, we'll have to check the replay. I, w I will check the replay. If it was on me, I'm gonna apologize. Oh god. Jesus Christ. I was reading chat. <laughs> yeah, we had a look at it. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, 
Okay, and I need to be careful now. 15x. doing German interviews? I think I've never seen a German interview. I never watch like German F1, I always watch the English version. Oh my god, it's like 10 laps left. Shit. Prepare your Danzu Timos, guys. An X in one lap? Perfect. We are P5? Yeah, we are P5, yeah. How, How the fuck did that happen? It would be a shame if we got a drive through now. Tomb, okay. Dude, I see you. You don't have to flash like 2,000 times. Please wait for the straight. Thanks. <laughs> no, BMWs don't use any form of indicators at all. Are we good on fuel, by the way? Yes, we are. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Similar thing as last race, cars starting to get a little loose here. I don't like. I used to drive a BMW myself, never used the indicators of course. It was a good car but uh, yeah, the repairs were a little crazy when it broke. For whatever reason I broke the gearbox and it was like 6-7 thousand euros of repairs. 
Uh, Road Atlanta is the track. Oh, so many laps left. Shit. Can't we just stop the count now? Oh no. Shit, lost half a second to Tim there. F. I swear to God, if this guy starts to flash me all the time again. See how fast we can go, I don't know. Yeah, was the guy. Ah, uh, no, he's in draft. It's over. No, to like uh, let you know, faster class behind, I think. I mean, it's traffic, you know, like for position, it's typically like, I don't know for what reason they do it. thing is I cannot push like too hard because I definitely don't want to get my last incident point too early, you know. Uh, I think 48 oh, hours or something. Oh my god, Yuri. Racing would be so much less toxic without voice chat. So much less, that makes sense. If it's too close, I'm not gonna defend too hard. Like, even P6 would be like a great success after how this race went, you know? Jesse helped me to uh, get Tim out of the draft. Thanks, Juan. No, oval, is, oval racing is great. You should try it out if you haven't. I think it's a very, very exciting form of racing. Very different to what we know from road courses. I kind of find it more exciting in some, some way. As a driver. Like for streams, I think it's not that great but as a driver it's it's pretty awesome i like it yeah it's it's like i think you have to try it yourself i've i've been in the camp like oval racing come on how hard can it be what is what's the point but you need to like experience it yourself i think
Blah. Better turn in than expected here. Okay, Adam will get us as well. I'm really into oval racing these days. Like, I nearly watch every NASCAR race. Like the Cup Series. I typically don't have time on, on Saturdays to watch the other stuff. <laughs> Five laps to go. Hey, do slow and slow, slow in, fast out, <laughs> slow in, slow out. Huh? That would be me. Oh, the understeer. Oh, Tim lost a bunch of time now. I think we can oh, take it a bit easier back. now. Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe for the wired version, I'm not sure. Oval racing in general, like, I think you should not shit talk oval racing without trying it first. I think it's super exciting. Yeah, yeah, they just turn left. No, it's actually it's a really cool race. Oh god, really cool racing. Which was the guy that I uh, that I had a zero X with? It was Henry, right? Oh, Yuri, coming. Lucky dog. Uh, if you're the first car a lap down, you can get your lap back on a caution. Okay. Yeah, oval racing definitely deserves respect. It's uh, probably like as a European <laughs> viewer, there isn't there isn't oval racing in Europe basically, and I guess like people don't understand it. Like I've been one of those people who just don't un people who don't doesn't well uh, doesn't get it. Um, but once I've been like more into sim racing and tried it out myself, I really started to like it a lot. This white flag now, Yuri passed us. Should be white flag. Uh, one lap less. Wait, people, people is uh, more than one, so people don't understand something. Sometimes my, uh, 
my English brain stops working, you know. Stressful. <laughs> okay, no more traffic. Three corners left. Ah, we did it! <laughs> this this feels this feels good. Like after the race started so shit. Getting this P5 top 5 here in the 47k SOF. This feels good on 15x. <laughs> Ooh, and I had one off track I want to say, one off track. Three times punted for 4x and then uh, the situation with Henry where I might have punted him off for 2x. Oh, stressful, honestly, because I had to push hard because Tim was catching, and that was that was a fun one. That was a fun one. We have to check the situation with Henry here. I want to see if, uh, yeah, rip safety rating though. But who cares about safety rating? Right? It's honestly like even like if you do this all the time, it's probably still impossible to lose your A license. Okay, so when was that? Like probably around this lap? Your race, your race Victor and Steve. Uh, GG, man. Good race, guys. Good race. Okay, wait, there's Henry. We are good race. Thank you for that. Hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah, netcode as well, but... Well, I didn't lose control. He, like, I, my car was fine. I had to like slam on the brakes here. Because he was going so slow. No, for whatever reason, the liveries don't work today. White car's fault. <laughs> Let's send him a message. But I still think like it's more like a racing incident. I could have gone more to the left. I mean, I even braked here on corner exit. He could have gone like a little bit more to the right. I'm just uh if they if they would have crashed I would have gotten a drive through Yeah, I don't know, honestly. I find it hard to judge I would like need an uh like, well, FIA, like 30 second penalty for both of the cars. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take the blame if it's on me. I uh, For me, it's hard to judge. I mean, I'm already like, the racing line goes like way wider here. Um, I mean, that doesn't mean that I can... Wait, he's... He's on the outside here, right? So I can just push him off a car. No. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to overtake there, but you know, uh, 
if you don't go for the gap, oh. let's check from his cockpit view here. He made a little mistake here, going too hot into the corner. <laughs> All right, GT Race fan, have a good night, buddy. Uh, nah, I don't know. I mean, watching from his cockpit, this looks fine to me. I don't know. From the cockpit, I would personally say it's probably more on me than on, than on him. I cannot change it now. But the bad thing about the wiggle is I can't see the screens properly. <coughs> it also, yeah, it also was a net code situation, but I think we probably would have met anyways. Ah, uh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. In the end, I cannot change it now. Let's have a look at the start of the race and then go through the incidents. <coughs> So this is uh, where I pushed my luck a little bit here, going three wide, and then I kind of, I was like, ah, no, let's let's back, let's back off. But then he was so slow, and I kind of like couldn't back off more, and but it all went well. Here, I think like the first five laps were relatively clean. Custom livery, but where? I put it like. I put it here. I also, wait, why is it? Why is it here? I tried to delete it here. Eh. Well, I don't know. It worked fine before I put a paint in paint in here. Ah, you mean here? Right, my content. Paint car. And then like choose one of those here. Come on, you're not allowed to paint. Come on. Face is not allowed. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bit sketchy, right? But nothing happened. I backed. I backed out. Backed off. Backed out. It was a bit. Wait. What? Who was? Who are you? Ah, it's Porsche. I like this race was tough for me. Like P5. Um, I'm not complaining at all. Great scent there, Dan. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, there was a net code situation with you here. Oh my God. I was like, why do you not break? Typical eye racing, but look at. Oh my God. Come on, come on. <sighs> uh, you can jump from incident to incident with uh, with these buttons here. Next incident, previous incident. Put just put a button on there. It's it's default. I don't know. But if you put something on here, you can jump from incident to incident. What? Yeah, what is that net called? Honestly, it was it was perfectly fine. Like, chill, chill. wait, Benelux. So it might be French, Gil. <laughs> oh my god! Like we are like, I, I mean like, he's in sector three. I'm already in sector one. Basically, look at this net code, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Like twice, twice. Look at this here and here. And then that is me in the portion. Uh. Oh, and it was Juan again. Oh, no. <laughs> I 
I, I have a history with him, with me being a little uh, <coughs> typical LMP driver. Yeah, I mean, it's not your fault. You, I thought you maybe didn't lift and, and just drove into my back, but that is like clear net code, nothing you can do. <laughs> uh, how did they end up here, though? Oh my god. Oh, and another weird net code situation here, though, right? No, it's, it's like not at all your fault, you know. Uh, this is also... Eh. I mean, Arthur... I'm not sure you can take this line when there's a car next to you. And then... Netcode did its thing. And I kind of like... Oh yeah, true. He had he had the highest I rating, so you can do whatever you want. Ah, I was unlucky, but you know, in the end, never give up. Uh, I got a I got P five out of this race. <laughs> Just three positions better than I qualified, even though I was basically like nearly last here. And then. Uh... Wait, the rest was relatively unexciting here, right? Did some sense. Oh, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. It was it was pretty bad, but I've seen worse. Nearly did a team. Oh yeah, 15x. I've I have never decued in a race before. Well, on oval ones. That was uh. What is the name of that oval track? Like like a small stadium that is like banked like crazy, super short. Uh, like one of those Bristol, Bristol, yeah. I got the cute in three laps. <clears throat> three laps. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I mean, I wasn't like even that much of position after this. All this stuff. I think I I, uh, I got up to P8 or something here again. I mean, I don't know how I can check which position I'm in right now. Position 33, yeah, but that doesn't help. We'll, we'll go through all the incidents, but I wanna... I just wanna fast forward on my stuff here. When did lap 6? Lap 6 probably was that... Um, Oh man, that was really tough. Here. Ah, okay, he pushed him, he pushed him. Henry, oh, Henry! Henry! You know, well, it's tough out there. I feel a little less bad now. <laughs> uh Some nice bowling there, two for one. And he was waiting, oh come on. What a nice guy. Or maybe he was just waiting because I was parked here. <laughs> yeah, probably. But still, like, it's not his fault. Okay, and then next lap was um, with Arthur. <sighs> it's tough out there. Here, let's have a look. I think maybe I could have left him... Oh, come on, dude, you cannot... Like, he does exactly the same shit again. See, this is what I mean. People don't learn from... Oh. This is basically uh, similar to the situation where he first crashed. Like, going too wide through a corner and pretending I don't exist. Proper Lando Norris move here. It's a five second penalty for me. But what is what is the team? Ma uh, Mala? Is that a, is that like a
Oh, Williams. Williams is everyone's favorite uh, favorite team now after the Arama situation. Huh? <clears throat> no, of course, I, of course, Lando. Like, I think the move from Lando it was okayish. I think the penalty is fine, but what I find interesting is like, wasn't it like 2019? Or if Verstappen did exactly the same to, was it Vettel or Leclerc? I have no idea. And that was fine. <laughs> hey, Josh. <laughs> <clears throat> I run away now. <laughs> we still like you, Josh. But at least they are consistently inconsistent. Yeah, also Verstappen did the same to Hamilton at Imola, or where that was, like, or, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's it's very inconsistent. I mean, if, if you do it and you don't get a penalty, why stopping doing it, right? But, like, either it's a penalty or not, they should, like, make up their mind. Here's von von Zeka. You look so calm, I'm always calm. Thank you so much for the for the reset, buddy. You look so calm. Um, let's go through the incidents. There must have been quite a few, and I need to cool down a little bit, and then we'll either do one more iRacing race or we'll do race room. I don't know. Uh, eh, and u. Uh. Yeah, I'm not like blaming the drivers. I'm like saying if, like, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to like figure out the rules. Like, if you're on the outside, is it fine for the inside driver to just push you off or not? Like, I found it interesting. Like, there were so many discussions on Twitter about it. And like a lot of people who were real drivers kind of said it is fine, <laughs> whereas like most people that I know are sim racers, said it's not fine. I don't know, man. I I mean, I think it's not fine, but I'm also not a real racer. Um, but you, you like... I don't, I don't see how this is fine, to be honest. Like, if you go too wide, I mean, if this is fine, just always hold the inside, and the moment the other car is on the outside, just drive him over the track. You will never lose your position again. I don't know. At least, like, make consistent rules. Okay, so first incident in the GTE class was just like some guy spinning on his own from P2. That sucks. He still finished P7 though. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Like even multi-class traffic, like something that you see a lot in real life IMSA is the prototypes just going around the outside in the corners. You you rarely see that in the sim. <laughs> Good point, Adam. But I still I, I I don't know, man. 
Okay, we had that situation. At least they were consistent with like g giving Perez the penalties as well. But still. Oh, this is how. Oh, this is also why Tim did not catch me on the straights. There's like literally no damage on this car. Yeah. What? After that impact? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay. What's happening here? Was it just the, the, the net cause or do we get a crash here? No. Okay. Oh, Steve again. On Road Atlanta, sometimes it, it gives you really weird incidents. Oh, 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 no, huh? What, what exactly is it showing here though? Oh, uh -huh. uh, probably like my inputs at this moment. Hey, David. Oh my God. What? Oh, come on. This guy. This is not me, right? He did exactly the same thing? Here, this, this is us. And he does exactly the same shit again. Like, how... Eight point one k I rating, but the race craft of <sighs> he's eight point one k. Yeah, you see it here in those standings. Here. He probably races cards in real life. <clears throat> I should all, this this is something that I that you should probably report. But then again nothing would happen because oh he maybe just misjudged the situation. Honestly. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the bowling into me. This is me. He also didn't finish the race. I, I'm not now. I'm curious. Um. Oh, he died. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, LMP2, I think, should be more fun because you have to deal with all that traffic. If you enjoy, like, dealing with the traffic. Hey, Wojciech. How are you? Uh, because it's the best track in the world. No, I, I I love it. It's my favorite track. Yeah, it's it's a very fun track. It's quick, but it's also like on the limit, and I love it a lot. 
And like like the the Mon the the, the Monka S situation, like every lap you have here on the mountain, like I think it's it's just a good track. <laughs> no worries, man. Not like you uh, you spun on purpose. It's all good. I lifted, and it was all fine. Oh man. Turn two, turn two is like probably one of the hardest tracks in the world, I think, because you just can't see it. You cannot see where you need to turn in. In my opinion, it's one of the hardest corners. Oh, LMP is gonna LMP. This one, uh, it's just definitely on the LM LMP here. In my opinion. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Let's put it like this. Uh, the move was optimistic by the LMP2, but the GTE or whatever that is, GTE, GT3, pretend like drove as if the other car did not exist. I don't know. Hey, Johnny, be good. Thank you so much for 20 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I got killed by Netcode as well. Thanks for the reset, buddy. Yeah, because typically this is a move that works, see? You go to the inside and then... Uh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, this, this happened right ahead of us. I, that confused me, like, a lot. Hmm. Yeah, but you can touch the grass here. It's fine. You don't have to break though. You don't have to break this early. If you break on the grass, yeah, you you're gonna lose the car. Maybe he panicked a little bit. Yeah, I saw the hypercar. Looks pretty sick, to be honest. I like the the look of it. Looks like different, not like every other car, you know. Oh yeah, he was breaking. Fail Doctor with the tier 1. Welcome to the sub club, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Big thanking. Henry, what happens here? Nothing. Oh, net code. Always be ready. For what? For what? Yeah. True. Here, see? He touched the grass as well. Uh, where is it? I don't know. Here. You can't, you can't do that. You just cannot break on the grass. Oh! Huh? Typical Russell move. <coughs> Yeah, that is what I say about wreck avoidance. It's important on iRacing. I mean, I didn't get P5 because I drove so well after getting punted three times. It's because everybody else got punted more. I mean, look at how long we've been looking at the incidents and we're on lap 15. Gavin! Four months. Thank you so much, Gavin. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Davidson won. Henry, what happened to Henry? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
That's what I always say, like in the replays, like when somebody wrecks you out, like you can be, you can be mad for some time, but always check the replay and, and see what you could have done to avoid that situation. You will learn from that, and even if you should not be the one who has to avoid the situations, there will always be like an, an, a, a Le Hook driving like that three times doing the same shit and not learning from it. So you have to learn from it. <coughs> Oh, oh. That is some, some net code, huh? Well. Hmm. The Jesse kill, like right at the start or whatever that was, Marcus? Man, this race was like crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, true. Like, like most of the time, push to talk is only used to tell somebody else how shit he is, right? Or she. And nobody needs that. Just like. Yeah, <laughs> we saw that. I didn't like really look too much at it. Oh, this is this is how uh, how he died. The hook. Death by Shane Wallace. Uh, but brum, brum, brum. Oh, he already lost it here. I learned that I have no idea who SVG is or who that is, but I learned that Shane Wallace is Shane Gisbergen. I also learned that he drives like some V8 cars. Didn't know him before though. Well, it's tough out there. That's Mark, right? <laughs> the question, we got that question like 50 times already. So <laughs> no, we, we had a look at the car. I think it looks great. It looks different than other cars. It, def it definitely seems to cause quite a bit of, um, quite a lot of, uh, like, how do you, oh my God. Uh, a lot of, how do you say that? Like people seem to be excited about it. Yeah, Shane Wallace is a scalable vector graphic. Oh, that worked. That's a cool paint, I have to say. Oh. oh. What what happened here? Uh, this idiot, look at this. <clears throat> hey, rookie. Uh, we didn't see that. <clears throat> oh no, oh no. Too close for comfort. Oh, you don't... You, oh. Dude, <laughs> like, like, why? And now you get stuck behind other cars. That was that was a bit unnecessary. Is this quirk? Oops, what happens here? Nothing. Yeah. Must oh, huh? Vincenzo? 
I think I think he got got the what? Okay. Ooh. Uh, give me a second. We will quickly go through. Like, how about like holding your brakes? No. Okay. Uras Hanan, sixteen seventeen. Turn three. I'll check it. Oh no. <laughs> so he fucks this up, he fucks this up, and then they both fuck up together and get killed by the LMP2 and both are dead. Welcome to iRacing Top Split. Oh, this is too much stuff. Let's go. Let's check your situation. Uh, which which car club? I would assume lap eighteen. It was a slow one. Turn three. Oh, here. Hmm. Yeah, net code. It probably would have been fine otherwise. I think. Um, this is a this is a typical move by by an LMP2 into this corner because you lose you lose a lot of time, especially through the S's, probably the, the part of the track where you lose the most time. So uh, people send it there, and I think it would have been fine without the net code. You you left the door open, and then Marcus took the inside, and this is just like a net code hit. See, the cars are similar to what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, the lower SOFs are much safer. Look uphill. Like this lap? No. It's yeah, this this just net cord. I would say. Yeah, you did you did nothing wrong here, Uras. Um, you did nothing wrong here. It was just unfortunate that uh, the game registered a hit when there wasn't one. I mean, you probably didn't lose too much time, so in the end... Yeah. Line up the hill. Yeah, yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like going so far to the right. Yeah. Whatever. Not Shit happens, uh, nothing super bad happens, so.